We begin tonight with an airboat rescue at Everglades National Park. Tourists forced to walk in swampy alligator infested waters when an airboat flipped over. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero spoke with some of the passengers about their terrifying ordeal. Picture it, you're visiting Miami for the first time and you decide to go on an airboat ride to see the Everglades and then you find yourself in the water with the alligators. That's what happened to nine people here at Coopertown Airboat Rides. What you were looking at is footage of the nine passengers walking through water onto another airboat after the one they were on flipped. There was a crocodile in the water and our captain uh, tried to maneuver the boat, make sort of like a U-turn almost. And he did succeed in making the U-turn and then he tried to make another U-turn to go back to where we're come going to and the boat just flipped. Jose Maldonado was one of the nine passengers. He decided to bring his family who was visiting for the first time to the Everglades. They signed up for an airboat ride, not a swim with alligators. Their first reaction is, you know, never again we're doing this. Like, whose stupid idea was this? Like, and I'm like, I swear this has never happened before. So it's supposed to be one of the main activity in uh, the the Everglades. The price was good. The reviews seemed good. Florida Fish and Wildlife and the National Park Service conducted an investigation that led to an arrest of the captain. FWC said the man is being charged for operating a boat without a license and not being able to show proof of completing a safety course. There was an alligator and that's why we were there, but the people were, were very scared of it, but it's run away. The airboat crash shut down Coopertown airboat rides for the remainder of Friday. It was not what I expected. It was kind of like my worst fear kind of thing, but uh, I'm, I'm just glad that everyone was okay. Florida Fish and Wildlife says this is an ongoing investigation. In Southwest Miami-Dade, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.